Yo, what is up, guys? This is Beast Ready for Gaming, bringing you another Madden 21 career mode here featuring Nick Keller. We have won the last two games in very, very dominant fashion. Your boy has been reaching headlines all over the world. Actually, he kind of is getting the stuff in the media. So, actually, I shouldn't say that. Statistically, he has been doing absolutely amazing. Uh, actually, and if you guys didn't see last video, we broke a record. We set an NFL record by one yard. For throwing 555 passing yards in a single game, but besides that, he's really not getting that many, that many headlines, and he's he's kind of getting snubbed. He got snubbed week one for the player of the week against the quarterback that we beat. I didn't mean to play the full game. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna hop in the full game. We're facing the 40. Why was I gonna say the 49ers? Am I on drugs? Like, I knew, I, I even said it in my head. It, it was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And for some reason, I was about to say the 49ers. Tom Brady, TB12. 538 passing yards. He, only, he has that through two weeks. We had that one week ago. We got that in one game. We're so much better than Tom Brady. And we're about to prove it if you guys are ready to see us prove who the better QB is today. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And also make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications. So you know when and what I'm posting. And let's get into today's game. We are the home team today. Mile High Stadium. Or is it like some stadium at Mile High? It's something weird. We got a sim. We're going to uh, play all offense. Because you know this is a career mode. We're only covering what Nick Keller does. Down at the 5 yard line. Alright. So we are going to hand it off to Melvin here. Melvin, my guy, he, he keeps having pretty good for or, uh, pretty good second halves, but can't get a first half going here. He, he almost broke it away there. Got a little bit slow out of that animation, but still got a 12-yard gain for the first down. Let's see here. Let's let's run a double slant. Let's run a double slant. Let's see. We got Sutton as our key target. Let's see if we can get anyone open. And oh my goodness, he gets absolutely lit up by Murphy Bunting and it is second and 19. I didn't see him until it was too late. Jerry Judy is our new uh, key target. Let's see who's going deep. Patrick. Patrick might be the guy if we can get a window. Oh, this defense is amazing, but square's wide open. Square's wide open. And that's Judy. A 17-yard gain and we are third and two. 1,000 passing yards on the season. One pass in the third week, and we're already at 1,000 passing yards. We're going to set all the records this year. We're going to set all of the records. Come on, Melvin. And he gets absolutely lit up. Holy crap. Fourth and inches. Do we go for it here? Do we want to go for it? You know what? It's Tampa Bay. We can't be giving them this field position. Let's punt it and make him work for it. Let's see. Maybe we can even force a fumble. Actually, wow, that guy... That guy really deep. Holy crap. Come on. Let's hit him hard. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. And he doesn't fumble the ball. Antonio Brown. I forgot he was on the team. He didn't really. I, from what I saw, I remember, I didn't think he did anything last year. And guess what? They score a touchdown despite the field positioning. Wow. All right. So now we got to definitely score here. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Circle. Circle. Keep your feet in. Keep your teeth. Get his foot down. He didn't get that second foot down. You're kidding me. Please tell me they're going to take a look at that. Take a look at that. Hold up. Do they still have that when you look at the replay, you can't challenge it? Because I want to see what happened there. Did dude not get his foot down? Oh, he didn't get his foot down. He didn't get the foot down. You gotta get the foot down, especially on a play like that. Come on. Ta truck. I was gonna say, why, why Why? can I not process words? I was gonna say tackle when I meant to say truck. Ugh. Hey, do you wanna go for a ride in my pickup tackle? Yeah, that's, that's what everyone wants to hear. God. Oh, circle. Come on, stay up. Stay up, get that block. Get the block, break the tackle. Break the tackle, and he's taken down at the 45 yard line. Three for four on the day. Let's hand it off again. We haven't handed it off in a while. Let's run a weak ISO to Melvin Gordon on the Tampa Bay 45-yard line. I think I cut up the wrong hole. Only a two-yard gain. Three yards or three rushes for 15 yards. Again, he tends to get going later in the in the second half when uh, the game's usually over. But we might not have that today because we are off to a rough start here. Oh, triangle, triangle, Patrick. 
81 running down the field tackle down at the 28 yard line four for five now that one completion is kind of bogus to be honest that was just a terrible animation who's the bunch trail is that Cortland Sutton Cortland Sutton I don't think I've I, have I passed it at all to, to him today I don't think we have but we're not gonna need to as long oh crap I think I spoke too soon I thought Sutton was gonna start blocking I over anticipated we're down at the four yard line let's hand it off to Melvin we're gonna run a no huddle here come on let's get him on the counter Come on. Oh, he's got a wide open. Oh, he's not even going to be touched. Melvin Gordon for the touchdown, the first rushing touchdown of the day in this game is tied. We head into the second quarter. We get the ball back at the 35-yard line. Let's see. We have four rushing plays, six passing plays. Corwin Sun's going to go downfield here if he can get wide open. Uh, ooh, R1. I don't know if I got off, though. Despite being sandwiched, Melvin Gordon comes down with the completion. I was worried he was going to let go of the ball when that second guy came in to, to make the hit. But no, Melvin Gordon hangs on to it. Now we hand it off to Melvin. Come on. Come on. Does he make it to the 40? He does not make it to the 40. And 81. Patrick, he's he's grabbing his leg there. He might, be, he might have tore his ACL. So who's our new receiver? Is there not one out there yet? Let's see. Again, Sutton's going deep. And I don't think I've passed a Sutton yet. But he's getting triple teamed. He's getting triple teamed here. I don't like that. We're just going to have to run it. We're going to run it. Come on. Keep going. Get out of bounds. Oh. Also, I wasn't sure if he was going to get if he was gonna get hit big there. And I thought he might have fumbled it. So I was trying to get out of bounds. He bruised his shoulder. He was grabbing his knee. <laughs> he was grabbing his knee. I don't know what you mean. Bruised shoulder. Okay, yeah. Because then that makes his knee hurt. Unbelievable. It's like watching a WWE match. Come on. Oh, he, he might just have to run it again. He might just have to run it again. He has one guy to beat, but then three guys coming after him. Two rushes for 38 yards, and we are first and goal. We're going to hand it off to Melvin again. Let's get Melvin his second touchdown. That's what happened with Melvin a lot. He has a lot of touchdowns, but it's like a lot of short runs. Oh, come on. You you had one. You couldn't reach out the ball? You couldn't reach out the ball? Let's go halfback dive. Let's get in there. If he can't get it in on this one, then we're going to fullback dive. Come on. Come on. He lost a yard. He lost a yard. Where is the offensive line? Dude. Okay, we're going to formation here. We got to do some strong. Actually, no, we got to go goal line. What am I saying? Goal line. Um, We're not doing a halfback sneak because I'm going to get absolutely lit up. Come on, let's give it to 83 Beck. He can dominate. Come on. I was going to say, if, if, he, if he just stands there right on the threshold and doesn't go forward, I was going to lose my mind. All right, Denver takes the lead against Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay can only come away with a field goal. So with 3.23 left in the second quarter, Denver has the ball back with the lead now. Oh, he needs to break one, not two tackles. Unbelievable. He's always like one, he's one point. Why do I still have goal line on? Unbelievable. Like, okay. I cannot speak for the life of me. Why can he? It's he's always like one broken tackle away from from a big play, and then it's oh, okay. Uh, we're throwing this away. We're throwing that away. There was no winning in that situation. Come on, third and six. Let's do a fade smash route here. Let's see. Patrick's back in. We got Sutton. Him going deep. Ooh, come on. X secure the throw. All right, Noah Fant with the catch. No touchdowns on the day for Nick Keller yet. They both have been via the run that they've scored. Skinny posts. Again, I like Cortland Sutton going deep, but Judy has been the underrated receiver this year, to be honest. Oh, oh, we got him wide open. We've got him wide open, and there is no one within 30,000 meters of him. The first passing touchdown of the day comes on a wide open deep route to Cortland Sutton. Unbelievable, man. And guess what? We get the ball back. We get the ball back. With less than two minutes on the clock. And he's going to run it. He's going to run. Oh, what, Melvin? What are you doing? If you block him, I probably am still running down the field. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're just going to no huddle it here. We're going to play action slide. Who's going deep? Corwin Sutton. The man of the hour before. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. I will take an incompletion over what that could have been. I will take that. Because I thought as soon as I threw that, that he was going to be that he was gonna be picked off. 259 total yards on the day for Nick Keller. 
The rookie quarterback has been making quite a splash in the league. Oh, I was going to say. All right, we got less than a minute here. Let's score Let's score a dagger touchdown. Or did I, I don't, what I meant was, like, let's put a dagger in them. You know what? I'm just going to stop talking. What? That is not where I meant to put that. He caught, he, he caught that? <laughs> he caught that? <laughs> what? How on earth did he catch that? Calls an audible here, and Patrick might be the guy. Patrick might be the guy. He just got cut up field, and he can't keep. I was, like, turning it up field, and he was going wide with it. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> um, let's, let's, run a, let's run a stick play. Let's run a stick. Hamler, who are you? Oh, he breaks the tackle. Oh, he's just going to run in. He's just going to run in it. Why did he slow down? Why on earth are you slowing down? What, what is this decision making that is taking place? Melvin Gordon with another touchdown. Took us long enough. All right. Oh, and we're even more fortunate now. We get to start off the second half with the ball. We have almost, we have more than doubled what Tampa Bay has been able to do in this game. Can we keep it going? We're throwing it up deep, but he gets hit. He gets hit, and Judy comes back to make the play of the year. Arguably the play of the year. Unbelievable. I've been saying that a lot in this video. I just realized that's like probably we can probably get an unbelievable counter in the video. Come on. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. He gets the block. No, he doesn't. Dude, what, what, is, what is this pass protection? Like, or not pass protection. What are these blocks? Melvin Gordon literally shuffled out of the way and, and Noah Fant just like bodied him. He literally just rubbed nipples with him instead of blocking him. Melvin Gordon has three rushing touchdowns on the day though. And Nick Keller, I, like these these big plays can be happening, but we need one big play to happen. Like we need a big key component of the play to actually follow through. Come on, Judy. Come on, Judy. Come on. He fumbled that? He, this is why you stay near the out of bounds line, people. If you fumble it, it just gets shot out of bounds. I don't know what happened there. Last time we ran this play, Cortland Sutton was wide open. Can they make the same mistake? Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. He would have been wide open, but we did not have any pass protection. Vita Vea on the sack. Um, don't say unbelievable again. There are other words in the English dictionary, Nick. You can use one that's a synonym. Oh, and Cortland Sutton. Cortland Sutton, make the catch and stay on your feet. Make the catch and stay on your feet. Wait. Did he catch it? Okay. Again, when, when that animation goes and the, and the ball's on the ground, I, I get worried that, they, that it was an incomplete pass. Come on. Come on. Oh, you, what are you doing? Just absolutely no. No holes to run through today. The, 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 I, you guys, if you guys are a consistent viewer of my channel, you guys know I just can't speak English. So I might as well just start making these without commentary and it'll be a better quality of video. Melvin Gordon still can only break one tackle at a time. Can't break multiple tackles, apparently. Double slants we're going to run here. Come on. Third and two. Who's open? We just need... Oh, come on. Come, oh, you overthrew him. You you had him wide open. You had one job. And you overthrew him. We're going we're gonna to kick the field goal. We're going to kick the field goal. We're going to be safe here. Let's do it. Come on. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get our points and get out of here. Come on. 38 to 10. I mean, if we can't be the Falcons here, we're no lead is safe against Tom Brady. What what did I just see? What was that long penalty? Oh come on! Oh, Ooh, that would have almost that would have almost been intercepted. Second and ten, we get another shot. We cannot give them any chances to get back into this game. Coral and Sutton, my guy, do you have a play for me? No, he's getting double teamed or he's getting triple teamed. Actually, come on, I need a block. Oh, the spin move! This is play of the year. This is play of the year. This is play of the year. That spin move, though, and he finally gets a block, and Noah Fant scores an 80-yard touchdown. And they have just not been able to do anything. Tom Brady has not been able to do a thing here today. 
A touchdown in the first quarter has been it besides a field goal for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. But besides that, they have done absolutely nothing. 465 yards. We could easily break our own record today if we wanted to. Oh, come on. Get the ball. Get the ball. The way he's throwing these balls, man, it, it's kind of scaring me. Come on. 16 rushing plays, 24 pass plays. Come on, Melvin. This is when you go off white. Again, the, the, the reactions were getting laggy there. Come on. Let's get him to 100 yards rushing. A second tackle for loss. All right. Come on. Again, let's, let's get him 100 yards rushing. That's always when we get it. We always get it in the fourth quarter. Oh, this is where we get it. This is... Sorry, to burp there. This is where we get it. We're halfway there, man. 13 rushes, 50 yards. Got three touchdowns. He's going to have his touchdown goal for this year. That's a fact. It's just a matter of can he get to 100 yards. If he can get 100 yards a game, oh, just like look at this. If he can do this every game, he has a potential shot at 2,000 rushing yards. Unbelievable. Stop using that word. <laughs> Why is that my go-to? And again, they just can't do anything. The, I was gonna. Why do I keep wanting to call them the Patriots? It's because it's Tom Brady. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers just cannot do anything. Oh my God! Vita Vea literally smushed Melvin Gordon down the 13-yard line. If Melvin Gordon can break away for another gain, he might have 200 yards on the day. If he can break away, if he can break away, if he can break away, oh! Literally, an 81-yard touchdown will result in him going over the 200-yard threshold. That is the key here for Melvin Gordon. He could have a 2,000 rush season, but he just needs to average a little bit over 100 yards a week. Probably 150 to be safe. If we can get that every week for him, he has a shot at a 2,000 yard season. Otherwise, uh, you know, he'll probably just be one of those mediocre guys who runs for, you know, 1999 yards and 40,000 touchdowns and just, you know, he's a mediocre guy. I'm obviously being sarcastic and. You know what, since we are, we, since we are, well, let's, let's, let's pass the ball, let's pass the ball, get out of your, oh, crap, that got absolutely launched, wow, it was like a torpedo after he got hit, Judy or Sutton, I'm liking those options, let's see, let's see here, come on, make the play, make the play, I didn't even see what happened, I guess we're going to punt the ball. I mean, I'm not going to argue about it because, you know, we're, we're up 52 to 10. I, I'm just kind of curious how that transpired the way it did. Oh, come on. We got to get down there. Got to get down there. Oh, that's taking our bounce. That's taking a good bounce. And they're down at the six yard line. Who is Spillane? Oh, now he scores a touchdown. He scores a touchdown by the time it's too late. 52 to 17 is the new score. But it may not be the final score just yet if Melvin Gordon can get a block. Jesus. And look down at the bottom, 62 to 10. 62 to 10, the Tampa, Tampa Bay. The Tennessee Titans beat the Vikings. They absolutely demolished them. Oh, my goodness. And again, just there are no blocks present for anyone running on this team. The run block is absolutely atrocious. Now you can see why they need a QB who could run because, you know, the blocking may not always be the greatest when it comes to to pass protection, and especially when he needs to run. Nick Keller can can he can he can juke a dude or two. He, he can he can make a guy look foolish. Two minute warning here, 52 to 17. This is gonna look like a repeat of the last two weeks. What is going to happen here now, Melvin Gordon? Can he get a block? No. Absolutely nowhere to go. Everywhere he runs, it is just filled with defenders trying to eat him alive. Come on. Oh, he got... Again, every time there's a small hole, he, he gets hit by one dude, and then there's just another guy right around the corner to make that play. Melvin Gordon, I mean, don't get me wrong. 128 rushing yards is nothing to slouch about. This, that is an absolutely phenomenal game, especially when it's 150 yards just short of it. And four touchdowns. That is not a game to hang your head about. That is an absolutely amazing game. There are some running backs in this league who would kill for games like that. Oh, my God. And he might have killed for Melvin Gordon to just stay there. Wow. Whoever that defender was absolutely had no, no regard for the safety of Melvin Gordon. 
Didn't matter that this man probably has a family. He did not care. All that mattered was making the play. Melvin Gordon run it through the gap. All right, we're going to let the clock run out there. 156 yards, four touchdowns on the day for Melvin Gordon. He might be your player of the week this week, so another snub potentially for Nick Keller. But Nick Keller didn't have a bad game either. Nick Keller did not have a bad game either. Oh, we're just going to let the clock. You know what? We're going to... We're gonna... Oh, I, was, I, I just realized like I started it too late. All right. Four touchdowns on the day for Melvin Gordon. That means let's let's see if I can do math here. That might, that's four touchdowns for uh or no that's seven right or no not uh three three touchdowns for uh, Nick Keller here. Let's see. He had no offense. He had uh who was it? Cortland Sutton and then did he did he run for one or how many touchdowns did he have? Do you have okay? So he only had two. He only had two, but despite 512 yards. He might actually get snubbed. He will get snubbed for another week. I can guarantee you that. I can almost guarantee you that Melvin Gordon is going to be player of the week over him. Which, I'm not saying it's not deserved. I'm just saying Nick Keller is the one leading this team to these victories. And they're kind of they're kind of showing some disrespect here. So let's hop to the next week. Let's see what everyone is saying. And let's see the head coach. What does the coach want to know? Short week ahead of us, it's going to be hard to get the offense mentally prepared and give their bodies time to recuperate. We'll have to choose, do you want the guys mentally prepared but tired or well-rested but less prepared? We have dominated every other team this this year, and since it's the Jets, let's emphasize rest over preparation. This team has absolutely been, been, been working, and we need the rest. So we're going to upgrade our player real quick. Let's see what we, we got. One, we have one skill point. So we won't use it. Scrambler, we scrambler we don't necessarily need. Let's let's go improviser. We're having to kind of scramble out of the pocket a lot. You know, let's let's get that throw on the run, throw power, and throw under pressure increased. And let's see, does he get the player of the week honors? Will he actually be credited with being the player of the week again? I doubt it. Part of me really doubts it. He does. Interesting. So he does get credit for being the player of the week. All right, he only had the two touchdowns. He didn't have that many, but he still went absolutely off. And the news updates, let's see. Gordon, Gordon, Cortland Sutton, Nick Keller. They just keep saying how, how Nick Keller uh, Nick Keller should get a ratings bump. But, like, where, you guys, you guys don't realize that I'm the one leading this team. I am the one leading this team, people. All right, you know what? We're going to prove it throughout this season that they are just not giving me enough credit for what I am doing for this team. And if you guys want to stick around to find out just how much credit I deserve, you guys, again, just make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, try and post notifications, because then you will be notified when I upload more Madden 21 Career Mode content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is Beast Word for Gaming, signing out.